So welcome back to a late night chats plus creation plus ramen without the ramen this time. It's not really a planned thing. Last time it was planned and um, it didn't go very well and I didn't end up releasing it anyway. Um, this time it's not planned but it's more something that needs to be done. It has all something to do with what I want to talk about today. I am finding I am having a hard time getting into it and I'm in a bit of a creative slump. Slump? 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 I am in a little bit of a halt, creatively wise. So I decided to have a little chat with you guys, if that's alright, and try to make something um, here today. There, I have a bunch of clothes that I had cut out, um, and I would like to... I would have, I have to sew them up together, basically, that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be sewing a bunch of clothes, maybe not as interesting as making um, crocodiles and stuff like that, but maybe to some people it is interesting. Although it's all very basic clothes, um, I'm not going to do anything complicated at all, um, it's just things that need to be done. It's all for the female character at the moment, I'm having a hard time figuring out the male character. And then the set has already things like this, little props, like little fake canvases, and I'm in a little bit of a slump. So, let's start. <laughs> let's start first with this top, so it's like a more, you know, those modern whatever tops. Oh my gosh! Yeah, so I have not, at one point, you know, I was releasing content maybe like 10 times or more in a row of like basically weekly. Um, and maybe I missed one week in between, more than, more than 10 days. Um, and now it's it's been hard, kind of. Hold on, let's just start and then I will um, continue with the little, the little subject of today. I don't know why that's, that is the song I have been pointed out already that that's the song that I keep singing whenever, you know, there's like a, a silence or something and I'm in the mood to hum a tune, it's that. Um, before I was the Sandman, and now it's, it gets stuck in my head. I'm gonna first make sure that you're still recording because that would be a shame. Um, this, okay, no, let's start with the white shirt just because that's just easy, straightforward. And I have a white string. Don't need white string for the other one. Cut this out. Let's just sew it up onto the doll. And then we will flip it later. I am not a seamstress. I don't really know how to sew um, clothing. I try to sew them in a way that makes sense clothing wise. Like how the the uh, stitches might look, but it doesn't always look great. <laughs> so, yeah, I thought it would be nice to, while sewing, to have a little chit chat, to talk a little bit about what's going on, if any of you guys care. <laughs> so first of all, how are you? How's it going? How have you been? Have you been having a good um, April? <laughs> How was your March? Don't think I've asked. Has 2023 been treating you any different than 2022? Um, 2022 was a nice number. I appreciated the number. Has work been okay? Has school been okay? I do think I have been pretty happy. Um, yeah. I think it's really, really sad January time. And then I started getting a bit happier. Now I'm alright. I'm feeling good. I am feeling good in certain aspects of my life. But, and this is the conversation time part, it's been hard for me to. 
to come up with ideas before a lot of my stop motion animations, the little short stories, have been you know my own、uh, my own ideas, my own creations, things that I wanted to say, to explore, to to um to create. But recently, that has not been really the case. Okay, I made the stop motion with the house, the dollhouse, but that's it for this year, I think. Before I, I kept wanting to make more and more, and I had so many ideas. As I said already before, if、um, any of you remember, that normally what happens is I have so many ideas going on at the same time. I get stuck because I just don't know how to how to deal with all of it. And there's so many things I want to do and so little time, and I feel like you know it's not possible or anything. But recently, gosh, recently it's been. The opposite is I have that want to create. I still do, very much, and maybe that's why it's so difficult because I just have nothing going on in my brain creatively wise, creativityly wise. <laughs> and I don't know if any of you guys, you creators out there, have that as well. Every now and then, it's just and it, and it happens, you know, the whole creative blank page or whatever. But I just normally don't get that. <laughs> I I like doing things and I like doing a lot of things and and being super duper productive and taking on many projects at the same time. I like it. It stresses me. I you know I cry. I get frustrated, but I like it. <laughs> Now that I have nothing going on, you know I have this project, but it's not like it's so hard for me to get into it. The whole balance as well of your social life. And then your, you know, hobbies. I guess you can call it whatever. This is. It's not a hobby. It's work. But、um, at the same time, I have the other job too. So two jobs.、Um, one obviously that pays way better. <laughs> yeah, when you have those two jobs in a way, and then you also have a social life, it gets a little bit difficult. And it's not like I have an amazing social life now either. It's just things are happening, and and I am going out with friends more often, or just seeing people, and it has been really good. And it's not like before I didn't, but it's like I don't know. There's just a bit more. I just put a bit more importance into these things than I did before, and um. And yeah, and it's just something new, at least for me, since maybe four years now, maybe. And it's different. It's very different. And、um, I realized that I kind of put it in more importance than my creativity, which I do not like. <laughs> I don't like that. That is the fact. And I wish it wasn't. But that's kind of how it's going at the moment, and I don't like it. I don't wish for it to be like that. If I were to choose between、um, creating these things and an active social life, I wouldn't choose one over the other. But <laughs> I would prefer to be way more creative because it makes me happy. Social life also makes me happy very much. But I don't know. I just kind of miss it. And when I'm having a huge creative strike streak. Every now and then, I wish I had more of a social life. It's, and it's such silly problems. I know it's very silly and very, very privileged to have, very privileged to actually be able to have this creativity on the side, you know. Then to have the other job that can kind of support my, my bills and rent and stuff. But yeah, it's I don't yeah. That's just something new. I just have never been in such a slump before. Such a halt, creatively wise. You know, it's been. I don't know when I released the um, the um, dollhouse stop motion animation. I think it's been a month or something, and that's not normal. Normally, I wish I should have already two projects going on in my mind, and and I have one, but again, it's just I'm not very. I think it could look very nice and stuff, but I'm not exactly proud of it. I don't know. I hope that this doesn't bother any of you. I would love to make 
little things again, like the 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 door that I made the video of from The Last of Us. I would like to do something like that again. But at the same time, I wish that I continued more with stop motion animation and just made more stories and more characters and... I don't know, and then you can't really force it, can you? Like, whenever I talk about experiment experimenting with, like, uh, students and stuff, you know, I say just go for it and just, you know, throw yourself into it. And I do believe that that is a possibility to just throw yourself into it and just do it. But at the same time, it is hard to just throw yourself into it, especially when you just don't have the will and power to actually see it through. And, you know, and I don't know, when you're just not interested at the moment, it's just hard, it's difficult. Yeah, I do get, you know, sad episodes <laughs> in life and that as well is um have been appearing i think a little bit more even though again i think i've been super happy and confident recently um i still get these sad moments and um and i think that they are contributing a lot to my um to me just wanting to create and the fact that i'm not creating just makes me angry at myself and not happy and then that doesn't help does it <laughs> no it does not so yeah that's just a little like rant about what's going on just because i just i don't know i just really wish to get out of it and i think maybe talking about it as well whilst doing this task which i would have already given up on i think if i wasn't talking um, I think, whoops, I think could really help with, uh, uh, I lost my train of thought. Oh, well, <laughs> let's continue this masterpiece of a outfit. Oh, so just on a side note, for anyone who ever does commission projects ever, get yourself a contract. <laughs> do it. You do not want to find yourself without a contract. No, no, no. Even if it's just you who, 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 um, who, <laughs> who created the contract and stuff. As long as you get a signature and you have certain details that are place like um your hours that you'll work on the date deadline payments yeah do that oh i got my phone stolen recently um and i saw the person who stole it and i confronted him and i said you stole my phone he said no and he smiled and i said yes you stole my phone he was like how could i steal your phone and then i walked away is this fascinating is this the content you have all been searching for you're like oh yes this is riveting 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 content I promise there'll be better content later on. I promise. I mean, when this comes out, it'll probably be pretty cool. I hope. I hope it'll be cool. Okay. Cut, finished. Now we have to flip it over, which will probably take a lot of, um, of, of, of trials and stuff because I sewed it on pretty darn tight. Yep. Smart Elaine.
Okay, so that's done. I need the body. So the body is made from milliput wire and some foam. Um, it could be glued and, and um, shaped better than this, way better, um, but, but it's not. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> and then glue these around. So just need to glue the sleeve up and up. Not on the body, but on the back of the clothing. So here, like this. I think that this is going well. It was only, I only had one hour left and I don't know how long I've been talking. Um, I'm just going to finish this nightgown, I think. And then the rest I'm going to do and maybe just show afterwards. Um, I don't think... Is this correct? I think so. I don't think I'll be uh, filming it all or talking because I might not have enough uh, room on the <laughs> on the what is it called? SIM card, SD card. <sighs> so I don't know what happened. I continue talking for like. 30 minutes and it stopped recording it's not like there there isn't anything there there's no battery low shortage there's no um there's no low battery there the cam it still has like 39 minutes left on the uh for timing for for the for the on the sd card <laughs> But yeah, and I was explaining a bit the story that I was going to do. I did go on a bit of a rant, um, a bit of a rant whilst making this green hat. Um, I was talking about many, many things, but maybe it's good that it was not recorded. <laughs> um, but yeah, I can't really remember much of what I said. Um, I am a bit ill still, um, ill still. And I realized that when I am ill, I often talk a bit of nonsense. So I'm not sure if the recording that I do have, if I start talking a bit of nonsense or not. Um, this is maybe all very confusing. But yeah. Um, and then I made this too that you guys didn't see. And this is to then put um, on in, you know, if you were to take the white shirt I made, this is then to put, to be put um over the white shirt so something like this you know a bit artsy i think i'll do the same thing with some maybe some jeans as well to make like a little um like a little romper sort of thing so that's what's called and yeah so this is what i made so i made this as you guys saw i don't know if i showed the final piece in the last thing and uh what was recorded um, i'm quite happy with this one's all right and then I made this thing to go over white shirt, just like this to go with white shirt and a little green hat and the white shirt itself. But this is a bit of an abomination and there's little strings coming out, which isn't great. So I might just, you know, throw that away and make a new one with better fabric. Um, when I talk to my students again about experimentation and stuff, I often just say, you know, just go for it. Just throw yourself into it and you something will pop up. And that is very true, and I do believe that, but um, sometimes, you know, you don't even have the motivation to actually want to do it, you know, and then you get a bit stuck. But um, there will be more interesting and better content um, ahead. This one is really just what I wanted to just get these things done and um, talk a little and just have a little bit of a rant. So I hope that that's okay and that it was still kind of enjoyable at least um but yeah i hope that it's all all right and that and you guys will be all all right no worries you guys got it um everything will be fine in life um there'll be ups and downs and and things that are just you know feel very hard to deal with but then after a little while you might stay in bed for a little while you might want to curl up and just lie on your carpet and just you know, close your eyes and just not do anything. But at one point, you'll get up and it'll be fine. And you'll be fine. 
and the world will still be here. Things that are lovable are still here. It'll all be okay. Um, so yeah, so I'll end on that note then. Um, thank you very much for watching. If you somehow like this video, <laughs> do like, comment, subscribe, all those wonderful little things. And I hope to see you next time for hopefully a more informative and um, better and better looking um, thing. <laughs> the next thing maybe will be the film or maybe I'll try to make another little set or something um, at the moment. At the moment, there are some commission projects that are being talked about, um, but nothing very concrete yet. Um, so I can just have a little bit of fun that I think that that also contributes because um, I have been having commission projects gratefully you know it's amazing that I actually am asked to do things that I love to do um, but I had been having commission projects kind of back to back and now that that has stopped though I was still doing my own projects in between whenever I had free time um, now that that has stopped, it's kind of just free time that I have other than the other work, the other job. But um, but yeah, that's a bit hard to, I think, navigate as well. Um, and just the fact that they're not also giving me income as well, that, that that's also tough. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this, um, this little film anyway. Um, thank you very much. And I hope to see you next time. Goodbye. Duck.